Hi there, and welcome to... I'm going to quickly clear my throat. <clears> throat. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of this survival game series. This should be episode 22, just to pass the funny number. And yeah, you should be watching me play on the map, Valleyside University. My favourite map. And today's been a good one. I've spent the day, other than waking up very late, doing very little. And primarily playing Valorant with my friends. I spent this morning playing with Jack, who we won two unrated in a row, which was great. And then in the evening, we got a five stack together, we played a competitive and got absolutely ruined. We are not in a position to play that kind of competitive nature. Absolutely not. Terrible, terrible decision. But other that, but other than that, it's been a good day. And I always love playing with my friends. It's always just ideal and fun and zen and good and goofy and just a general good time. And so yeah, big thumbs up to that. Wahoo. I am thinking though, I do need to uh, start structuring my life a bit more. Put together a few things and actually stick to them for a while. I'm back at university in a couple weeks, yeah, a couple weeks, and so I'd like a structure going into that so I don't fall into bad habits and turn into sludge. In the episode titled Structure, I talk more in depth about that, and the one following, I think I talk about some solutions I come across, and I talk about trying to implement them, but yeah, this week is when I will. So yeah, good, good, good. Tomorrow will be good as well, I have work in the evening, but other than that, it will be a fun, loving, and cool one. But yeah. So I want to talk about yesterday and my doctor's appointment, my crazy, goofy, do lally doctor's appointment. I've been having issues breathing. I've been having this cough. And yeah, basically, I get home and I go to bed. And then in the morning, I wake up and I'm wheezing and I'm coughing and I can't control it. And it's pretty terrifying, let me tell you. It's not great. So yeah, I, I spent a couple weeks just living with it. And then I decided, no, I probably should see a medical professional about this. Before doing that, I obviously googled. Went to Dr. Google about it, which I swear boomers love saying. And, uh, and yeah, tried to figure it out on my own. And then decided, actually, even if it is potentially throat or lung cancer, I would prefer a professional tell me that rather than myself trying to figure this bad boy out. So, what I did is I, I called them up. They booked me up an appointment in the evening, or in the afternoon, 2.30, just before my shift at work, and went in. And so I sat in the waiting room at 2.30, and twiddled my thumbs, listened to the conversations all the elderly people there were having, because I live in an area where it's primarily elderly, and just try and figure out what's going on. And then I see this horde of four ladies in scrubs come out of one of the rooms, and they, they're being led by another woman, um, a woman doctor. The way I'm saying that makes it sound like I'm not used to this, but no. It was it was an odd situation, the walking out of the doctor's clinic, you know, like a, in like a line. Like the camels in Minecraft. Oh, not camels, sorry. The llamas in Minecraft, just following one another. And yeah. And so it's now 2.35 and my appointment's supposed to be 2.30, but I allow for that because I'm used to this and I get called in. And lo and behold, I walk in, I see my usual doctor, and then there's three young women about my age. And I get introduced. And so basically, <laughs> I'm having four doctors for the price of one, which is already free. And I'm having... I, I'm just staring at them, and I'm like, hi everyone, hi, hey. And it's one of these ladies' turn. One of the junior doctors' turn to diagnose me with my illness. And so... I sit down and I start yapping away. And she's asking so many questions. And I have the most thorough doctor's appointment in my life. Like, she's throwing me specifics. She's got bedside manner to a uh, tea through the roof. Going crazy with it. The other ones are tapping away at the computer. The other ones sat there every now and then looking me in the eye and giving me a hopeful smile as I explain my coughing fits and such. They ask me what I think it might be. And then we laugh about how I terrify myself by assuming I have cancer when it's any illness. And yeah, half an hour passes. 
I have to take my shirt off in front of all of them, which was a bit weird. Uh, they put the stethoscope around the place. I have to hyperventilate about seven times over, and they joke about how they would pass out. And then, yeah, they're unsure of what it might be. And then the senior doctor pipes up and is like, What you said about nasal drips? I think it might be that, because you discussed a, like, a taste in your mouth, and something like that. It was like I was in an episode of House MD with this team of young, strapping individuals. And so I was like, oh, oh crazy, this is insane. Thank you. And yeah, I now have nasal spray, <laughs> and a potential solution to this throat thing. They came in the post today, I had to get my sister to order them off Amazon. But yeah, the fact that it's over-the-counter stuff, stuff I can get online, and it's not something I need to really worry about, is just great. They think I might be allergic to something. I have an assumption it's my cats, given I came home and then started sniffling, but there's no way in hell we're getting rid of them. So, if I can find this solution here, that will be ideal. I've been choking up a bit today, I've been hacking up a storm, but that's fine. So hopefully in the next few weeks you'll hear a more smoother and ideal voice giving these voiceovers. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. If I'm lucky. But generally I just want to say it's been a great, it's been a great situation. And I, I loved all of those doctors and they were great. Despite the fact I had my flabby stomach out in front of them. Didn't need that. Wasn't much of a uh, buzz. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You've been great. Have a great one. And do what I did and take care of yourself. I'm good now. I'm in fighting condition. Catch you in a bit.